Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can add a custom JavaScript functions to your ESP32CAM homepage. To show you a de brief demo on how our end output is going to look like after this tutorial, I will be showing you a live preview of my already completed project so that you can get a clear understanding on what we are going to do today. We completed until this part in our last tutorial. Let's move forward. In today's tutorial, your ESP32CAM live video stream will be displayed in this container and you will be having a special feature of taking a picture from the live stream. Every time you click on this button, you should be having a new card with an image on the top and a button in the bottom. So to do that, we need to use some custom JavaScript. Every time you click on this button, a dynamic element like this should get generated dynamically and also as soon as you add some URL to this one and press on the button upload URL it should also get added to the elements in this container just like this so if you observe carefully both these buttons are doing the same process but the images here are very really different to give you a, a, an understanding when you click on this one this image is from your live stream or that's directly coming from your ESP32 cam. However, if you add the URL here and you click on upload URL, this is coming from the URL that is provided by user. That means if you give an image URL, so this card will be having an image from your e URL source, not from your ESP32 cam. So in this one project, you're doing it in two different ways. So without any delay, let's get started. Let's open our brackets code editor and we I hope you remember that we are working on a copy file. So for this, we need to go to the bottom of the content and you have to create a new tag called script. So here I want to make my code separate from what that already exists. So I added a command called custom JavaScript for my understanding. So here we have to create some JavaScript functions. So let's create a function called load image. The end output of this function should be generating a card with an image and a button. So let's see how our card looks like in our official bootstrap document. And in the search, just type for the card. All right, so this is our card that looks like this. So we are interested in a card like this one, having an image at the top and some content in the bottom. So let's copy this one. I'm just pasting the copied code from the bootstrap.com. So here, every single time you call this function, you have to repeat the same code again and again, except only two things should change. That is, your image source should change all right so we are not interested in having a paragraph in our card body instead we need a button so to do that let's take a division and add the class text center to align the content and everything to the center of the card so right here i would just keep a button called and i'll add the class ptn ptn hyphen success and i will give it a name i'll give it a value called get result all right and I also want my image to be cross origin if you have difficulty in checking the validating the code whether it's completely correct syntactically correct or not just come out of the script tag and type it right here so all the code should be good enough to uh, give you a clear idea on what's going on. So I'll just use the format to make the code look a little better. And I'll just trim the empty spaces. All right. So here we just need to add some comments, change source of image for our understanding. 
and also I'll just copy the same content I'll also copy the same comment and add it here 